Legend of Total War here with part 31 of my Empire Total War Blitz campaign as Great Britain. Alright, so we're here at Maine, Falmouth, or however it's pronounced, I don't care. Um, having come from the Iroquois territory, I've also brought my ship over here. It's consumed three full ship movements. Obviously, I need to waste one of them. And what I did was, instead of just wasting all of its movement, what I did was... I took the guy down here, the ship, picked that guy up, came back over here, picked him up, and then came in there, perfectly used up all of his movement. So he's got he's got two fresh generals on there. Well, somewhat fresh, that we used last turn. So it all it all worked out in the end. Um, and I've also brought these guys over here. Now I realize that once I put want to put these guys on the boat, anyone that has no movement left cannot get on the boat that includes you you and most of these generals so when we get to Fort Nashwak Wash whatever here any general here that has no movement points I am basically just going to rush at them um, they don't have much here so and every general that dies who cares I don't need them anymore um, I won't be able to take them anywhere else and then we'll have a fresh army for the most part, not all of them are going to die, because there's a lot of generals here that have no movement. Anyway, we're at Falmouth now, and who's got the movement? You do. We're going to demand their surrender, so I'm just going to quick save. And I think the two militias should be suitable for it. was never going to be difficult. Well, this one here doesn't have much movement left, but he's got enough to get on the boat. Because we have to get them to the sh to the port here. But luckily they don't need to get off the port. I'll just send, one some send someone to attack it, and then that's it. Um, then they get sent here to these guys, the Inuit nations. Now, there's no port out here. So, we'll have to figure out something for that. And then after then, we want to... We could walk down here, don't get me wrong. But it would be better if we sailed. Um, preferably into port, but that would require us somehow drawing out this sloop. That's not so easy. Um, I could maybe figure something out. Because you'd have to... You have to um, what's it called? Uh, have them intercept you. If not, then we'll just land somewhere and just make do. But it would be better if we landed at the port. Now, th at that point, I'd actually like to bypass Quebec and go to Montreal. Because I my goal is to try and take Quebec as the very last settlement I take in this campaign. I'll take it earlier if I need to. Doesn't really matter, but that's my goal for now. My extreme goal that doesn't really do anything, but whatever. Could have kept a trade agreement with them. What? Oh, because it's not connected to the capital. Right. Doesn't matter. There's no point in establishing a trade agreement with them. They're not going to live out the turn. Okay, so now we need to make our way to Fort Nash... Wack. Wack. Whatever. I don't care. Arcadia. And, um, like I said, it's, it's going to be a pure general rush. So I'll pause the recording and get my ass over there. Okay, so we're close enough to Fort Nash work that I don't really need to get any closer. And I could just send this guy to go attack and... Um, just leave him there afterwards. Okay, so I need to be able to differentiate between the generals that do have movement and those that don't. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take every general out of my force here that have some movement, that have no movement points left. At least take some of them out. Guess it doesn't really matter. Hang on, why don't I do this? Hang on, let me just try that again. I gotta, I gotta be really careful with how I do this. Actually, let me just double check that it does actually work. You get in there, make the attack. Okay, so let's select... Let's see who does and who doesn't have movement. So these two here do, so all of these don't. Ready for order. Yes, your majesty. Ready and awaiting 
We need to be able to differentiate them between those that do and those that don't. So, we need to create them all. So, they've all got their own portrait. And I just need to remember him. So, 22 and him. Or well, he'll have the gold. He'll be in the first place. Everyone else here. This is going to be weird. Why couldn't you make that attack? Oh, what the fuck? Shit, I don't know what happened there. He ran out of movement, so I have to... God damn it. Alright. I have to make the attack different. Okay, so that was him. That means from here to here... Let's double check that. Yep, they're the ones that don't have movement. Damn it. Alright, so I just need to make sure that it's these ones here that, that uh, we sacrifice. And the funny thing is, I've made them all immortal. Now, they might all get completely wiped out, and I have to use the rest of my forces, and that's fine. So this one here, we don't send him into fight, even though he is... Oh no, we can send him into fight, yeah. He is immortal. It's... Okay, the guy's got 22. He, him and his forces must be sent in. This is going to be weird. Him. He's the only one who we can't send in. And, and them, of course. That's why I wanted to make sure they didn't have a portrait, so I know that don't send them in. That means these guys here are all my suicide generals. Because these guys that have mo no movement left, they can't go on the boat. So there's eight of them. They might not actually succeed. Because there's more of them than, than I thought. There was, they had like two extra armed citizenry or something. So maybe I should set up to begin with. I'll record the whole battle. I don't see why. Because I'm going to do this differently from other ones. Let's set up over here. And maybe if we could just shoot the enemy general. And then we'll send them in a little bit. This is all... No, more of them are coming. It's just not really the best spot to be coming out from. So just be patient, bear with me. Now these guys also will have to be left behind. But I need to get them fairly close to the coast. So that the ships can um, pick them up. Uh, pick everyone else up. So there's five settlements left to take, including this one. After we've done that, America's done. I could essentially disband this whole army. It makes no difference at that point. I probably should have disbanded some un some of the uh, generals that are like hanging around in South America because I, I already knew I wasn't going to need them, but I just kept them around just in case because it's not like the upkeep costs very much. It's not going to make any difference. I, I think. I'm pretty much certain that we're going to get this done on turn 3, this turn. I mean, I'm going to have like 80,000 to spend in India and Europe. That's more than what I had to spend last turn. And more than I probably did spend last turn on new generals. Because 80,000 pounds, that is 100 generals. That's a lot of free movement points. And there will probably be about 50 settlements to take in in Europe, not to mention that we'll be able to scam the man of a little bit of money as well. So I'll probably have somewhere in the vicinity of ninety to a hundred thousand to actually spend. So then that there is about a hundred and fifty generals. No, hundred and twenty. Whatever. 
Just making sure all my guys get over here. So I'm missing, oh yeah, the other cannon. It's okay, we don't need it for this battle. Probably or at all. Maybe I'll, I'll use it for Quebec. Try and keep his movement up if we can. You guys get over here, but be prepared to commit suicide. Make sure you space that a little bit. Okay, are they coming towards us or are they just going to sit there? They're just going to sit there. That's fine. Um, let's see if we can actually get them to come closer. Because, you know, I thought that eight generals would be fine if it was just the, the five that I saw initially. But there's... Or four or whatever it was. But there's there's a few more in there. Because don't forget, I'm relying on these guys to do a lot of shock. And if you're up against a lot of units, it doesn't really work as well. Shock works, works really well if you outnumber the enemy and attack them from lots of different angles. That gets them moving, but are they going to actually come out here? That's why I haven't sent off the um, the horses just yet. Why did I just press that? No, don't do that. Because sometimes I see them, they dick around a hell of a lot. Yeah, they're just moving around. Alright. Okay, when they do this, we'll just need to send... This is going to be weird. Bring them all around over here. They'll eventually come. They'll stop being defensive and then they'll stop being aggressive, which is what we want. If we could isolate them out here, then I got no problem with sending them in to fight. But, you know, like I said, I want to do well. It's not like we're trying to do, do stupid. So I don't want these guys to just throw themselves in and then just get absolutely wrecked. It doesn't matter if they do, but I don't want that. Alright, I don't know why they're just sending one fire-locked armed citizenry. There's pretty much no need to worry about artillery with that. We can easily smash him. Now, if he decided to come out this way, but he's changed his fucking mind. I do not want to fight out here with, with the cavalry. Inside the... All those houses. It's not a good idea. You know, I fucking pressed R, you piece of shit. They're running around a lot, that'll make them tired. My guys are tired, getting tired as well. Hang on, their generals are coming, or general is coming over here. Recover your fatigue a bit before you fight him or else you're just going to lose. Should be fresh now, but hang on. Kind of want to just rush in there and kill their general. What's this here? Colonial militia. What's the charge bonus on these guys? Fourteen. That guy... No. Okay, almost ready to charge in on this general. Okay, now, do it. If he dies, it'll be much easier to break them. Like I said, cavalry's here for shock. It's not... Don't just consider attack and defense, you've got to consider morale. Morale is actually, to an extent, more important than, than the other two, sometimes. How is he winning slightly? Come on, it's fucking bullshit. 
We, got, we outnumber him massively here. Because of the stupid kill move mechanic. But he's massively outnumbered, so he's gonna break. Now, make sure you kill him. Gonna make it a lot easier to get rid of the other guys. Good. Good job. So what are their casualties there? He lost six. Hang on. No, he lost eight, sorry. Oh shit, what am I doing here? Native Bowman Auxiliary. How long were you standing there for? Good thing we killed the general recently. That'll make them easy to kill. It's okay, they've shattered. Need to recover your fatigue. Gotta be very careful of these. You don't want to go into them. It's good to see they're tired at the very least. But like I said, I do not want to be fighting them in the, the houses here. Cavalry fight like shit like that. Oh, crap. Be very careful with what you're doing here. If you go too close to the... to that, um, it's very bad. Come on, go, go away, go away, don't go, don't go near this. You broke them, that's great, but can't do anything more about that. Okay, you get over here. You should be able to finish him off by yourself. Good job. So far, we haven't even lost any generals. Good to see they're on their way, but we need to make sure we're over there. No, they're, they're just feigning it or something. That's okay. Look, if we're taking these guys out one at a time, then I guess we don't need the artillery. It's fine. I didn't want, didn't need to use them in this battle. I just, I don't want to be fighting them in this town-like area here because they just don't charge properly. Okay, I need some of you guys over here right now. Charge into them. You guys come around over here. I mean, there's only, what, three of them left? Okay, you can go take on this Arcadian whatever. Just, you just really want to avoid these things here, because that absolutely wrecks cavalry. Now you also see that these guys just, my guys will fight like absolute shit inside of a town. Alright, you stay back over here. This guy's decided to come around. Good solid charge there. Looks like it's going to break them. Terrible charge here. That's to be expected. Make sure you shatter them. Good, and the battle's pretty much over. We didn't need the artillery at all. And then we didn't even lose any generals. Well, call me a cavalry commander, I suppose. It's got no more movement. It's fine. So I don't need any of these guys, nor do I really need to disband them. But these are all the guys left that should have some movement, apart from, of course, these two units here. They'll have to be left behind. Okay, so I'll f try and figure out the way to get to um, to Newfoundland as efficiently as possible. Taking these guys over there. So I'll pause the recording until we get there. Alright, so we've made it to Newfoundland and we have still got plenty of ship movement around. So we should be able to make it here and then back again. Um, Alright, so what we need to do for this part. Grab you and just move them out of the way. Now don't forget that they've met up with the other two generals that were on the ship. Some of them have fairly low movement, but that's that, that could actually be a good thing. All right, who's got the lowest movement? You do. Um, out of the generals, that is. But do we want this guy to come back or not? Hard to say. 
I still think if this guy made the attack, he'd be able to come back. Now, it says that they've only got four units, but last time when we attacked, they got two units of, um, of the other type of militia as well, so... Alright, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use you. Why not? They'll come in to help, because it's not that far away. And let's do this! So we're almost done in America. There's just two more continents to go. Well, two more theatres. Technically, we still have... We've got Europe, Asia, and Africa. I hope no one's wondering why aren't I'm... Why I'm not trying to engage in diplomacy with these guys, because if you aren't thinking that, they're fucking rebels, you can't engage with, with them. I'm not saying anyone would ask, but I don't know, sometimes I get dumb questions. I mean, it's clearly like, the people that are asking questions are the people that don't play the game at all, haven't played it at all, and they're just actually curious. Um, which is fair enough, but... I can't tell if someone hasn't played it or not, or they just, they've played it and they just don't know anything about it. Sometimes I get people giving me advice and then I, I press them on it, and then I find out that they're like, total noobs of the game, that they admit stuff like, oh, well I don't actually know, I was just having a guess. Don't fucking give me advice if you haven't clocked more hours than me. Unless I specifically ask for advice. Like, for example, the EB campaign, I was asking for a bit of advice with Pikes, and whilst there was a whole bunch of different advice. I think it did help me a little bit. I hate pikes. I think they're just shit units. And then of course some people ask them, why do you get pikes if you, if you hate them? Well, you get a choice with the Seleucid Empire between pikes and even shitty units, so... And that game does favour infantry over cavalry. Cavalry is nearly useless without a good good supply of infantry. You can't just go in there and just out cavalry them. It just doesn't work in that game. Believe me, I've tried. All right, it's good to see that we they're all they're all here. I forget we we didn't have a, a full stack this time because I left a lot of units behind. That's okay. We're approaching the end of the of the. Uh, Time for these guys. Alright, where are we going to set up? I think ideally here should work. This battle's not going to be very interesting. I'm just going to pause the recording and just play this out. And if anything interesting does happen, I'll be sure to show you. Alright, so I'll explain what's going on. I decided to deploy closer to them. Much closer to them. And, um... Sort of regretted a little bit because they came at me pretty hard. Um, they, they're fucked up, of course, by chasing after my general, so they've been shot to shit already, and I've already charged into them, and I just decided, oh fuck it, we're at the end of the, the campaign as far as these guys are concerned. If any of them gets killed, who cares? So yeah, no, don't you dare shoot now. So they're shattered, good, go smash him. And also they're tired, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Reform up, get a good charge. But the more tired they are, they really, they do feel like shit when they're absolutely tired. Because these guys here, they're not bad. They're not bad in melee. And then again, it's all about breaking them anyway. It's piling on shock after shock. And there's a horse sandwich there for you, cunt. So he's out of there. Right, there's no need to continue on with that. Now, I believe there's only about three units left, one of which is the general. Would've been good if we had killed him first, but you know, we're gonna try and hit the bastard. So what do we got here? We got two loads of colonial militia. I'd rather shoot the general, but um, I'll make do with them. Go 
Okay, then get your opportunity to shoot the general. Come on, kill him. Oh, everyone but the fucking general. Come on, kill him. Still got the chance. Eh, whatever. Alright, we'll see if we can get a canister shot on these guys. They won't last long, even if we charge into them. Okay, get ready for this. Oh, he's come back. Doesn't matter. Get a quick volley on on them. Didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. They better not be trying to shoot. I do still need these two here. No one else is important except for them. Alright, come on. Canister shot his face again. And they're gonna come for you. Come on, make it quick before they shoot. You may not get that ch chance. Fuck, get in there. Get in there quickly before they shoot. They they completely missed, so that's good. One casualty's not a big deal. Come on, break. Don't let them get any more. Alright, good, good, good. That's that's fine. One casualty there will not will not actually damage the amount of artillery that we've got, so that's fine. Fucking kill the bastard. Out of time. So now they've just got the one unit left. And he's not looking too crash hot too. I reckon a bit of canister shot and he's out of here. Stop, slow down. So that was shit. They always aim for the fucking flanks for some reason. Aim for the centre. You kill more of them. Come on, just a bit more. There we go. That should break them. Don't you dare shoot at me, bitch. There we go. Good. The only thing that I lost of value was that one man in the artillery battalion, but that's fine. All right. Good, you can make it back. Now, our next stop is over here. Now, we need to make sure that there's a particular unit that has just about no movement. So, who who's, has that movement range there? That militia. Alright, uh, whoever we, we send there is going to have no movement. Let me just quick save it real quick. Alright, you... Get back there. So we'll see which unit has the lowest movement. Is it, so it was him? What about any of these generals? You've got pretty low movement. It's the same, alright. I'd rather leave you behind than the militia. Fuck. Alright, so basically what I gotta do here is try and get his movement down just to the smallest possible amount. Make sure there is some movement left. So that when we um when we land here. Um, other people's movement aren't dropped by quite as much. So I'll pause the recording, make my way over there so we can go and fight these guys. Okay, so here we are, have arrived up here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, two of our units are out of movement in, uh, in, our move, in our move here, but we can still, we've still got plenty of boat movement. We can still get these guys on the boats, except for, except for these two here. They won't be able to get back on, but that's fine. Um... And then I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to um, to get this ship out of the port, but we'll certainly be able to, you know, land somewhere and uh, keep going from there. It doesn't really matter. Now, here's the thing about this: these guys, we had to declare war in order to land. Um, they've got no troops here, so we're going to request peace treaty in exchange for no wrong thing, military access and a payment of six thousand six hundred. So don't forget, we just declared war on them. And for the first time in this campaign, we have more than 90,000 pounds. 
And then we're going to declare war on them right again, now that we've bankrupted them. Then... We're only up against garbage, but... Well, I don't know. We're going to send you in. Hang on, what about them? Do I want them to set up? Yeah, I kind of do. Alright, so... I'm just thinking... Let's just move it, move it by ourselves a little bit closer. I don't want to have to... Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, Alright, good. So there's only melee infantry in this, so should be pretty easy. I don't see any real need to like record the whole battle, so I might pause it now. And if anything interesting happens, well, in, in a minute I'll pause it. Um, if anything interesting happens, then I'll be sure to show it. I'm sure there'll be some point in which they'll decide to charge on us. Um, now the militia will have to be left behind in this battle, which may, well, after this battle. Which means there's no need to take them with us. So, I mean, there's no need to keep them alive. Get rid of them if we... If they get, if they get killed in this battle, it means nothing. Alright, send them away. Send the horses away. And then from here, we just go through the motions. Shouldn't take me any more than probably 20 minutes to do this. And we'll resume recording if anything interesting happens. Okay, so I thought this battle was just going to be... Oh yeah, I'll just blow them to shit, no problem. But it seems like, because they're all garbage, they don't give a fuck about their life. They're not interested in reforming or anything like that. So there are... This formation's a dog breakfast. The attach detach shit doesn't work at all. So... What am I going to do? Um, because I ran my guys over here from where they reinforced, they're still exhausted. I thought they'd be fresh by now, but of course it, it's it's raining or snowing, despite the fact that it's summer. Um, however, their units are very tired as well. Now, this guy here, I need to leave him behind. So it doesn't matter one bit if all of them get wiped out. Although, if a few of them live, I can transfer them over to this guy. And it'll be fine. So, I don't know. He's going to have to fight. He, he's active, but the, these other ones are whatever. I'm also thinking about sending the cavalry in. Uh, some of them, that is. No, I need I need you for other battles. You're a suicide general to an extent. I do not want to use my dragoons. I'll use them in the very last battle for the turn. I don't want to engage to shoot them then. We've already routed one of their units. God, that was nearly a rout. Can we quickly shoot them? Never mind, they're already broken. Do not shoot, do not shoot. I'm gonna kill the general. Ah, uh, shit. Forgot to put that back. Alright, go back on it. Get them out of here. Alright, if you need to get into melee, it's fine. Go for it. I'm actually kind of surprised he managed to break them, and then again, he's he was fresh, and they weren't. No, shoot, not yet. See, the detachment it doesn't didn't give a shit. And I can't remember which one of these generals has is out of movement. I think it's this one. He lost two men. That's fine. Because they're rushing at us, they're doing an absolutely shit job of this. Okay, both of them are. Uh, shattered. So this is going to turn out to be a very quick battle, which is fine. And it's a good thing it's happening at the, you know, the end of the, these guys' run, so it really doesn't matter if I do lose quite a few. Just don't worry about it. Just uh, have a shot at them. Don't get me wrong, the cannons did a little bit of damage, but, you know, I was hoping to, you know, completely wipe them out just using the cannons, but it's fine. Uh, I won't use the bayonets, not yet, but if you guys want to charge in there, you should be able to smash them. So lose a couple of men, but then I expect these guys are going to break pretty quickly. 
Alright, cannons you can go back on there as well. Guess not. They want to come back. It's not safe for them. And I still need them. There's only two more fights to have after this. But, you know. Even though I can do the battles without them, it would be more expensive if I had to hire more fucking generals. Maybe I should have killed them, because maybe one of them was the general, but there's no way for me to know. Okay, so you just protect them, because they need to come back, because there's still the best way to kill any of these guys is always with um, canister shot. Especially if they're exhausted, they'll just rout. Alright, what's going on with you? Okay, get back on there. I didn't choose a very good spot. These ones are among the least dumb AI that I've found so far. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're still dumb, but they're deciding to go around me, knowing full well that I can't shoot them in this direction because otherwise I'll shoot my own fucking cannons. <laughs> Hence why I don't call them smart, I call them least dumb. can use this as well when they get in range. Okay, now you need to get back. not a good spot because it's just going right over their head. Even though we do have the high ground, you know, they're not very tall. Where the fuck are you going? It's good to see they're exhausted. I can't use these guys' ammunition just yet. Well, not, I uh, can't use their cannons. I mean, not until this guy gets out of the way. Actually, maybe we can. No, 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 use, use this. Just got to make sure we're not shooting into these guys. So they're broken, so I want you to go and run them down. Make sure they shut up. Good, kill their general, that'll certainly help. Turn around over here. Alright, we should be able to break this one without too much issue. Just stop shooting for now. See if we can break them. Good. Is that the end of the battle? Yes. We're done. So that was pretty easy. We are triumphant. So those 18 men lost were just generals, bodyguard, and those militia that have to be left behind anyway. Another nation destroyed, and we bankrupted them right before wiping them out. We're very British in this campaign, I think. Alright, so, just two more settlements left to go, and then we are done in America. Alright, so, like I said, first thing I want to do is take Montreal, and we don't want to take Quebec until um, we've done more of um, the other stuff in the, in, the, uh, in the east. Okay, but first thing I need to do is get these guys back on the boat. So, hence why I'm quick saving. Got to make sure we take minimal movements. 
Okay, so this guy here, just transfer him over there. This guy still retains his movement, but you can't come. Alright, let's have a look here. Okay, so who has the least movement? This guy does. Okay, if I can get him on the boat... That would be good. Alright, so where's the drop-off point? Right there. Okay, just forget about him. Can get a little bit closer than that. Come on, you can do it. Get, just get over there. It says he'll make it on. All right, so let's let's give it a shot then. We need to take him out of the out of the thing. That gives them. Why why you have to change your fucking position now? Because these guys are in the way. That's why. Motherfucker, what's wrong with you? Okay, so that didn't fucking work. Alright, this is why I do this stuff off screen, because it often takes a lot of trial and error to get this shit right, because it just, it's just a pain in the ass. Okay, so I'll pause the recording until I get down to um, that other rebel piece of shit. Alright then, so... I couldn't take all of those units on the ship. In fact, I had to leave all my infantry behind. They just wouldn't get on the ship. Either that, they wouldn't get on the ship, or they wouldn't get off the ship afterwards. So I have to leave them all behind. So, now, uh, let's see, I only, I've got enough movement to get to here, that's all we really need them for, so, these are all the guys we've got, this guy here will run out of movement, all these guys will still have some movement left, I might have to hire another general to get to Quebec, we're not doing it, I'm not doing it just yet, but we're doing, doing this one, so, these guys will land, and then I want you to, We'll probably just need to save up their movement for, for that battle there. I don't want to risk it. Alright. So. Actually. Now that I think about it. I have no idea to be honest. Alright. I'm just going to put you there. Take the attack. Okay. So. This force is really weakened now. But there's only one more battle to do after this for them and then then they're done now I don't expect this battle is going to be very interesting and if it is interesting I'll unpause the recording but for now I'm going to pause it uh, as soon as we get set up all right so where are we here where's our troops over there this actually seems like a pretty good spot all right I'll pause the recording until something interesting happens Alright, so we're approaching the end of the battle. All that's left are the medicine men, and for some reason medicine men are just absolutely glitched in this. They just refuse to do anything. So I've got my dragoons, my only gun units left, as in muskets, um, hitting them. And I've also got my cannons hitting them as well. These guys took a little bit of damage, but it doesn't matter. They've only got Quebec after this to do, so it doesn't matter. Help and break them, and we're done, I think. Good. Very easy fight, didn't take me very long, no big issues. Three men lost. Three, do you know what those three were? Fucking dragoons. Oh well. So then we need to get around there and go to here, but not now. We're done in America for now. Next stop is, I think we'll go to Ceylon. However, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 32 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.